Entry-level mining jobs, it's sink or swim. Welcome to Australian Mining for New Starters. And last week, I referred to the training of New Starters Underground as a sink or swim environment. And I've just been asked a follow-up question about that, just to elaborate a bit more about what's going on. I find the first thing to just make sure everybody understands that the definition of you being able to swim, so making it, is that you're able to be left alone and just checked on regularly by the shift boss about nothing different than anybody else would do. And that's where you want to be. You want to be so you've been ticketed out on the truck or you've been um, passed out on everything that you have to do nippering and you're not with anybody anymore and you're trusted enough just to get around and do your job. That's when you're swimming. Everything up to that point you're still, you know, at that chance of not making it, unfortunately. And there's lots of different ways that it goes, and there's lots of things that go, different things that go into it. So the first thing that I want to talk about is people that get to site and ask to get out of the water straight away. So for some reason, people don't really get what mining is, or they don't have a clear idea of what mining is, which is one of the reasons why we wrote this training back in the day, the DIY introduction to underground mining it gives you a good rundown of what's going on so we get a lot of people that get up to site and literally go oh gee whiz if that's what mining is i don't want to do that send me home so there's lots of that now the next type of person that comes into it is there's lots of people that can't take instruction mining's one of those jobs where you've just got to follow you've got to do what you're told basically until you feel it's unsafe to do so if you're one of those people that tries to reinvent the wheel every five minutes or you don't like being told what to do then mining's probably not going to be one of those jobs that you're going to really like and they tend to turn a lot of those people over now the other reason that people end up not making it is because they end up breaking a rule or they end up damaging equipment or they end up not getting up to speed quick enough so just to be clear that with all the way the industry works because they're paying their new starters a hundred thousand dollars a year basically and their second tiers 200,000 or 150 to 200,000 depending on what roster you're doing because there's so much money in it they want their pound of flesh and they want their job done as safely and as quickly as possible and some people just don't pick it up quick enough and so if you don't pick it up within the first six weeks like everybody that's going to make it picks it up often the companies will decide to cut their losses and get rid of you and bring somebody else's give somebody else an opportunity it's a huge turnover of new starters every time we go into a boom like this it's just basically because people have got no idea what they're getting into getting themselves into so that's one of the reasons why we wrote the training and i'm just going to go to the basic mine site operation course and just expand it out just to show you so the duties of employees and the duties of employers they're going to want you to know that How the mine, mine orientation, ventilation, ground support, development, taking a cut, firing a cut, escapeways, production mining, pace fills. All stuff that you need to know to be able to work in the mine by yourself. The different jobs that are done on site, so it outlines the different jobs that everybody does. Scaling, safety and surviving the first six months. The other course, the next course is Nipper and other important duties and it does the same thing. It goes into the different nipper duties that you might be expected to do on site. It gets into watering down, which is a, a big job that often truck drivers and nippers are responsible for doing. And general mining information. And this is where a lot of people get caught out with cat lamp signals and as per mine standard and refuge chambers and signage, isolation and tagging, all that sort of stuff. Because the unfortunate thing is that if you make a mistake in the first six months, then it normally means it's a window seat. If you, if you do any major damage or you break a cardinal rule, or even if you get involved in a situation that you're working on service crew and somebody decides to do something that's not right and everybody gets a written warning, because if you've, the permanent employees are allowed three written warnings and you as the new starter aren't allowed one, 
I've seen situations where a group of people have gotten written warnings and everybody and the new starters have been sacked. And I've also seen two new starters sacked on their second day because they didn't jump out of the ute and get their uh, their tags off the tag board themselves. They allowed the person in the ute to do it for everybody else. Everybody in the ute got sacked, but it just happens that there was two new starters that were in there as well. So just knowing what the rules are and understanding how it all works is a huge advantage going in. And if you can show the employers that you know how their mind works, then you've genuinely got something to offer them. And you can use this online training to do it. But like I said before, the definition of you swimming is being able to work by yourself with just normal supervision. So if you're two or three months into it and you've still got a buddy with you because they can't trust that you can be alone down there by yourself, you know, your days are going to be numbered, unfortunately. And the same thing goes that if you keep making the same silly mistakes, even if you can operate the gear just fine, and there's lots of guys that come in that have been operating gear all their lives, but they can't get their head around the way the mine works, and so they have to be moved on. It's just one of those things that the quicker you pick it up and the quicker you can show the employer that you pick it up, the safer you're going to be. And, you, you know, the, the easier the employer goes, OK, that person over there is swimming. I don't have to worry about them anymore. And that's what your aim is. So I hope that makes sense. And it's a complicated thing what goes into making people fail at these entry level jobs. But just understand that there is a high turnover. And one of the main reasons that there is a high turnover is because people just don't understand what they're getting themselves into and don't have a full grasp of what's going on. So if you can um, like the channel, share the information around. And uh, yeah, thanks.